Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, my name is Benjamin. Just wanted to uh, give you guys a quick shoulder pad uh, tutorial. Um, if you're like me and you live about two hours from the nearest hockey store, kind of limits you um, to just buying stuff online. So um, I hadn't bought shoulder pads in about uh, six or seven years. So I looked up a couple videos on YouTube. Um, and I had, at that point, I had determined with the sizing charts and the reviews, etc., that I was uh, about a, a medium sized shoulder pad. So, went out uh, later on that day, purchased um, the uh, Bauer X9 900s, size medium, of, of course, online. Got them in the mail. A couple days later, threw them on, and they were too small for me. So, um, I just kind of want to go over one thing um, that. Uh, that these other um, videos didn't go over. They were very brief. Um, um, so here I'm gonna throw, I'm gonna throw them on uh, and, I'll, and I'll show you um, so you can get a, a visual. Uh, because it's, a, it's definitely a big deal when you're, when you're getting shoulder pads. Um, so I'll strap these up. Uh, so what I, what I noticed in these um, now, obviously, shoulder pads vary um, from brand to brand, and, and then again from series to series. Um, so the uh, vapor line is going to be a little bit more tapered fit. Um, it's going to kind of contour to your body more, hug your body more. So if you kind of like a tighter fitting shoulder pad, uh, you should definitely check out the uh, vapor line. They're extremely light as well. Um, like I said, these are the X900 step down from the Apex 2s. Um, so they're, they're up there, top, top of the line. So, uh, but the reason that they're too small, and I, you can't really see too well, but um, is the chest. So um, you, you can't tell, you can't see, but uh, the chest piece is sitting uh, about three quarters of an inch from my chest. So it's not hugging my chest. Um, so there's a pretty big gap. Um, and what that's going to do um, is it's going to allow your shoulder pads to move more freely. Um, and so that's when you can get injuries. You know, if you're going to hit somebody with your right shoulder, right, you know, your shoulder pad ends up going like this. And look at how much of your shoulder is exposed um, that you can hit on the ice. Uh, you can hit into uh, someone else's stick or hit into the corner of the boards or something. And, and that's where the kind of injury, the shoulder injuries come, you know, with separations, dislocations, all that stuff. So, um, and even on the back too, you can tell there's a, a gap. So, um, that's not ideal. That's, that's not good. Uh, um, it definitely isn't, uh, the highest level and, and optimal, uh, protection. Um, so I'm going to throw on the, uh, the largest that I that I got. Um, so these are it's a little bit different brand. It's C CCM, um, and these are the FT 390s. Um, they are the same level of the Bauer X 900. So they're a, they're a step step down from the uh, top of the line. Um, and obviously these are larges. So um, the first thing that I noticed in putting these on um, when I went to the hockey store was. Uh, the chest. Um, so this is hugging my chest. It's hugging my back. Um, shoulder caps are in the same area, um, so your shoulder's still protected, and you can't really, even without the bicep guard strapped up, you can't really even move this too much. Um, so optimal protection, it, and it closes the gap too uh, a little bit more between my shoulder pads and then my pants, um, which is always great. Um, so yeah, guys. Hope this helped. Just like I said, that big thing was the whole chest area that I didn't uh, that I didn't see in other videos, and I didn't even think of. So uh, just really make sure um, when you're trying something on uh, that uh, you know it's hugging your your chest uh, because that's going to give you uh, more protection. Um, you know, it's 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 really key to take to take the chest uh, and up seriously. I always tell people. You know, buy uh, buy higher end chest protectors and buy higher end helmets because uh, you know you only get you only get one one heart and you know only get only get one one head uh, and two eyes and all that stuff. So definitely want to make sure that you're as protected as possible um, from everything to stick time from stick time all the way up to playing in a checking a league whatever. So uh, hope this video helped, guys. If you guys have any more questions, feel feel free to comment. Um, but uh, other than that, stay safe out there, have fun guys, and we'll see you next time.